the other dampers outside. And that right there is the integrated backdraft damper in operation. So let's go ahead and run the vortex fan, then take a measurement about 12 inches from the fan with our dB meter. This is a really simple dB meter, but it'll give us a good idea of difference in comparison to a regular inline fan, which we'll also test. And we'll get an idea of its sound output. So here's me talking. Obviously you can see the dB level. We're gonna test about 12 inches away the dB level of this fan. And then we're gonna compare it to another fan. Now let's compare this fan to another inline fan. This fan actually represents one of the more quiet inline fans on the market of the traditional type. It's like barely higher. Lower. Lower. 78. So this is a Rebel inline fan that we're comparing it to. Not only is it lower, but that one's at two mounting brackets that are putting two fixed points, and this box is reverberating even more. This is, oh yeah, this which, means that, which means that yours is quieter. Congratulations, you've won. Let's do one more test, which is the power test. Now you know, you know one, side is, one side will always be louder than the other side. That's why, I did a, that's why we did a test right in the middle. Right. We did it 12 inches from the, the middle of both fans. So here we go for our fan power test. The tug of the Titans. Now we expect the Vortex to not have as much uh, pull as the Rebel fan because the Vortex, this actual Vortex is designed more for quiet operation, more for, yeah, I guess quiet operation. So let's go ahead and run, here we go. Oh! Uh -oh. oh! There goes my $5 bill! It got shredded! Oh no! I just lost $5. So we actually gave the Vortex about a three second running start before we plugged in the Rebel. So the Rebel actually not only had to wind up, but had to wind up with all that negative pressure sucking through it. That was about as much of a handicap as we could have given to the Vortex fan. So here's our standard inline fan. As we can see, it's running about two amps. This is an eight inch fan with a 740 CFM capability. It's drawn about 220 watts on the 120 volt. So this standard inline fan is running about 122 watts at about 740 CFM. Let's plug in the Vortex and see how much more electrically efficient it is. Now I know that the Vortex also has a lower CFM output about, I think it's about 25 plus CFM difference, lower on the Vortex side. So it looks like our eight inch Vortex, as you can see here, our eight inch Vortex is running about 214 watts as compared to our Rebel at 222, and it's running about 1.98 amps. So it seems that the Vortex in comparison to the Rebel with their CFM output are about the same in their electrical performance as well as their amperage draw. Vortex has created a really cool looking fan. It has a nice sleek design, has a great mounting bracket. It's electrically efficient. 
uh, it's quiet operation, but it's not quite as powerful as our Rebel fan. It's close to about the same sound level, which the Rebel is pretty quiet for an uh, inline fan in comparison to other brands. The Rebel does have a mounting bracket that's built right out of the box, but if you're attaching it to maybe the floor joists of your house and you're worried about reverberation, this might be a better option. But the Rebel fan is a much better price point as well. So you might be looking at some of the features of this Vortex and they really do well for your certain application and we do see this as being a good fan.